play with emotion. Well, uh, when I started out, I was told that you couldn't. In fact, everyone I spoke to said that you can learn the tools, you can learn the courts, the, the theory, the techniques, and you can practice for years. But playing with emotion is really something that you just have to, have to pick up on, that you have to you know, find within yourself uh, to be able to do. So no one can teach you how to do it. And that just didn't make sense to me, uh, I remember, because uh, actors go to school for at least four years to learn how to express emotion through facial expressions, through body posture. And so they might not feel sad in the moment, but because they're actors, they, they, they learn a way to get themselves there fast. And you don't talk when you play. It's not your thing. You play. So your way of expressing yourself is through notes, through chords, through sounds. And so if actors can learn to do it through facial expressions and body posture, then of course you can learn to do it through your instrument. It's just as a predictable process as anything else. But then why do people say it's not possible? Well, it's because, you know, if I know something that everyone can learn with a little effort, then it's not that special really because everyone can learn it. But if there are areas of my craft that you cannot really learn, that you have to have the talent to, to be able to do it, or you have to just learn it by experience. If, that, if, if there are huge areas of my craft that are, that are like that, then of course I must be something very special since I, I'm the one who, who can actually do it. And I know that people don't consciously uh, say that really. It's an unconscious uh, luxury that that we can that we can uh, you know we can keep it to ourselves and we, perhaps most people don't even know how they how they learned it they just you know by, by by just adopting other people's way of expressing themselves they just felt the emotions of playing what others have played and that's really the key here because if I say to you okay play something that sounds sad I bet you can do it but how do you really teach people to do it how do I say, if you play a little slower and then you do the vibrato just right, then it will sound just the right way. And of course we can talk about that till the sun goes down, but we can also turn the whole thing around and then say, how does it feel for you when you play slow versus fast? If I tell you to have many breaks in between your lines, if I tell you to play slower lines and to really play a few notes that fit the chords right, then what emotion is that that comes out of that? So you do the practical thing and then you sense what comes out of that. How does it feel when you play fast lines and you do it with intensity? And then it's up to you to say, okay, what emotion is that? Because if you can't feel that, and of course you can, if you can't feel that, then there's no way of reproducing that emotion. And today we're going to look at just one specific way, one specific exercise that will bring you much closer and really get, get, give you a feeling of what it feels like to learn how to play with emotion. And you can do this already, of course, but to be conscious about it is to be able to develop even further than where you are now. So we're going to do this quick little exercise. And in my mega program, we're going to do one of these exercises each and every one of these 12 weeks, a different exercise. Uh, and that will really, really, really uh, bring you to that place where you can just play with emotion without even thinking about it. And if you feel stuck, you can also return to some of the exercise, your favorite ones, and then just practice those again to get uh, to the bottom of it, uh, so to speak. But today we're going to do, do just one exercise, and it's really uh, effective. We're going to play, first of all, slowly. Then we're going to practice playing fast, not as a, a technical exercise, but as an expressional exercise. And then we're going to uh, also focus on playing silently and then playing loudly. How does any, when I, when I speak like this, how does that sound compared to when I uh, speak more loudly? It has a different emotion to it, don't you think? <laughs> compared to when I speak like this, when I raise my voice, that's a completely different emotion there. And if I go back and forth between the two, I just a little bit, I speak like this for a second, and then I, you know, emphasize my point by speaking more loudly. 
And if I also use the, the, the patterns of speaking uh, slower versus faster, I can really express myself because I know exactly what I want to say. That was loud and fast. Or I can speak silently and slower. So that you really, really get what I'm talking about. I hope you see the point here. I'm not right now practicing speaking with emotion. I'm just using different elements of emotion. So um, if I have to, if I'm very sad, I speak slower, I speak more silently. And so I emulate that feeling by emulating the behavior. I hope you get that. Instead of practicing playing with emotion, we're going to practice playing slow, playing silent, and playing loud. And that's the matrix that you can download from my website right now. We're going to get very practical right now. On my website, you click, if you're on YouTube, you click the link below this video, and you're taken directly to a page where you can download the jam track you just heard, and you can down download this matrix so you can start practicing. So let's just, let me give you an example first. So if you download that now, so just put this uh, video on hold and go download the, the lesson material. And then I'm going to play, first of all, uh, fast versus slow. So you can hear what the difference is. Uh, now I've been talking like that, let's play like that. So I'm going to play slowly first. With a lot of breaks, pauses. So, and if I then blend that with silent versus loud, which I also did now because it's so automatic, then you will hear something even more, um, with even more expression in it. So, so loud, loud and silent, silent and slow. You can do two different exercises really. You can do, uh, first of all, the exercise where you just focus on one thing and just pick, put it on the wall, this matrix with these four uh, uh, quadrants, and then go for the silent first, play silent, then play loud, then focus on playing slow, then focus on playing fast lines. And then once you're comfortable with that, going from one to the other, you pick one of them and then, for instance, loud, and then you combine it with all the other ones. So you might play loud and fast, or you may play loud and slow, or you may take silent and combine it with uh, fast or silent with slow. And so that becomes your little exercise. You just sit down and play with the jam track, and then you first focus on each one of them, any single concept there, and then you start mixing them so you have two of them at the same time. And you just, you just do that, you just continue doing that, sticking with one or two concepts and then until you feel that this is easy now and then you go for something new. If you do this just a little each day for the next week or so, you'll really find yourself developing more depth in your emotional uh, ability to express yourself. And it'll be really fun. Um, so that's your assignment and I'm just going to play just a little bit more. Uh, using these four quadrants and I hope you'll go download the jam track, download the, uh, the matrix and then <laughs> go do it. So uh, bye for now. <laughs> 